Welcome by the Drunken Barbecue and today we're going to make five awesome campfire uh, snacks. No recipes? No, we're going to do snacks which are easy to make. Uh, you can do it with your family, on your own, with your kids. Doesn't matter, you can do it on a campfire, the charcoal as we're going to do it. Uh, some of them you can even do in your oven. So stay tuned. Today we're not going to drive, so uh, <laughs> what better than skip step one, we stay straight away to phase two. There we go, we're going to enjoy this and a few more. Today we're going to have a, a Czech style uh, Pilsner from Wild Rose Brewery. And uh, I will just show you a clip now. There you go. And uh, well, we're just going to enjoy beer uh, overall. And through a, a couple of, of wise people, I've learned that uh, there is this, this old ancient saying that basically indicates in short, a beer a day keeps the doctor away. So we're gonna try to live with that one because hey, we're gonna keep that one alive. Cheers guys. Yeah, when you drink this, I mean, there are no words to describe it. It's basically nectar for the human race. Enjoy the video. Well, here we go. We're going to show you one of my uh, one of my favorites. Uh, we all know what fruit is like. You, you, it's packed with vitamins, so you better uh, avoid it. So we're going to make baked apple because this is arguably probably not the healthiest way you uh, you can have your fruits. Uh, we're just going to core and cut the apple you can do it in many different ways uh, you can use your apple core you can use your knife and uh, once you have your quarters then uh, we're gonna prep the rest so we cut up the apples in nice uh, parts and uh, like I said you can do it all different ways so we're gonna sprinkle a couple of raisins on there after the raisins we're gonna sprinkle some brown sugar oh yeah it's got to be sweet right and after that, you're just going to put a little dab of butter on it. Because, don't forget guys, it's not going about the health, it's all about the flavor. And your body is after all an engine, and engines need fuel and oil. So there you go, lubrication. So once you've got your, uh, your mountain of goodness uh, all prepared, the only thing is left to do is just wrapping it up in a bowl as good as you can. Don't do it too tight. And uh, after this, we're gonna place them on the fire and we're gonna keep it there for about 10 minutes till steam is coming out and then it's good to go. And now we wait for 10 minutes of quality time ahead of us. Too much beers, guys. There we go. Big apple. There we go, big apple. For sure, not the healthiest way to eat uh, your fruit, but look at that, it's dripping with juices. It's just an explosion of flavors, just like basically an apple pie, but then without the pie. Mm. Have fun. Before we continue, I would like to uh, thank uh, this week's sponsor. Haha, <laughs> yes, I would like to thank this week's sponsor. I have never done that before, and this is the first time. Oh, I'm looking down, there's the dog, Bobus. Uh, this week's sponsor uh, paid for everything, and uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you like what you see, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and, uh, and don't forget the like button too, so you get updated when, whenever another video comes out. And now you're curious who sponsors a channel like this well that was me but hey i wanted to do this and now i'm doing this <laughs> so when you like this uh, this video please subscribe and uh, hit that like button and if you can leave a comment below we'd love to hear what you what you like to see and what you don't like to see and maybe uh, 
you think like from all right hands cook something uh, weird then I cook something weird why not if I can do it then we should do it all right continue with the video there we go next snack will be candy jam or sweet potato however you want to call it it's very hard to uh, mess this one up and uh, perfect for me so all we do is uh, split this baby first in half First thing you do, cut this thing in half and then butter it like you would do with a roll. Be generous, because a lot of it will be leaking away. Once well, that's on, take some brown sugar and again be generous, because this will also be leaking away. For an extra bit of flavor, I'm going to put some cinnamon on it. Just act to taste, no rocket science. And as this is not sweet enough, a hand with marshmallows. After that, we're gonna fold it all together into a nice package. However, it's gonna work out is the way you do it. And then we're gonna bake it. There we go, two packages. But jam! We're gonna put it on the on the fire, doesn't matter, direct, indirect. Just leave it there for about half an hour-ish. Or till it is nice and squeezy and soft and then it's ready. And everything should be nice, melted together to one gooey sticky mash. And so now and then you just turn it around, right? So you heat from the top, bomb, everything will be good. And in the meantime. Do what you can do best. We wait. There we go, it's time to unfeel the yam. Oh, if you could smell this, is one sweet orgasm happening here. Are you ready, guys? Oh, oh. man. I don't know if you can see it, but packed with juices. Oh, shit. Out of my fingers. It's sticky, it's gooey, it smells like candy. Well, here we go. Gonna try the jam. Nice and soft. Look at that, you can write your name in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at those juices. Man, here it is. Hmm. You don't know when you're missing out. And when you have a campfire, this is a must do. It's easy. You can't fuck it up. Just 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 do the steps I did. But be patient, because it takes a little bit of time to get it going. The, the small ones, half an hour, and otherwise a little bit longer. But hey, you're out and about, you have all the time in the world, so who cares? Have another drink and then you eat it. Mm. While we're waiting, we might as well make some cinnamon buns on a stick. So all you need is a stick and the dough. Don't reinvent the wheel, the dough is made for you, so get that can and pop it. So we just take, a, take the can, open her up. Easy peasy, Japanese. Paper, we don't throw it away, we just keep it in our pocket, guys. Hey, poof. Oh, look at that. Hey, who needs to reinvent the wheel if they did it for you? Oh, we popped open the can, and then uh, next thing is very really simple you take one string of dough and you roll it really tight around the stick. The reason why you want to do it tight is when you bake it, it's going to expand and then it will become loose. You don't want that, right? Oh yeah, look at that. 
Don't do too many layers, just one layer is, is fine because then it, uh, it cooks a little faster. If you want to eat it today and not tomorrow. That's more than enough. Okay. And guys, there you go. We'll come a bit closer. This is what it should look like. There we go, ready to cook. If you think when this is fire hot enough, you just hold your hand above it. And when you can hold it for about like three seconds without burning yourself, that's the, that's the one. And then you're just gonna hold it above it like you're fishing. And so now and then you turn it. And then eventually uh, your bread is ready. The problem with making this is in, in, in the video, you should actually have smell of vision. But man, it's not smelling nice. Look at that, guys. Just came clean off. Well, cinnamon bun or cinnamon stick would not be a cinnamon stick without frosting. Well, this came with frosting, so. Let's see, let's put it on there. Yeah, you're right. We're not going here for a, a diet program. Look at that. Ooh, starts melting. Starts melting. Life is good. There we go, off to the next snack, one of my favorites, campfire banana split. But before we're gonna go down that road, it's time for another favor. We've all been at it for a while, so uh, hey, 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 go for the next one. There we go, some energy. Well, they say it's uh, really hard to mess this dish up, but I will show you it's still possible and hopefully I won't be doing that. So you take a banana with a peel on and first thing we do is going to cut it over like you do with a fish. There we go. Gonna zip them open like we would with a fish. A little bit here at the tail. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. Capping open nicely. That's what we want. And then, believe it or not, as if a banana is not healthy enough, you just take anything that's sweet. Got some chocolate chips here. Who doesn't like chocolate chips, right? And we just put those chips in the banana. Look at that. Just like so. Just fill the sucker up. Remember, we're barbecuing. We're not working on health. You see that? Just like seeds. Then, we take a couple of marshmallows. Put it in there too. Oh yeah. Look at that. Just fill her up. Like nothing is happening. Here you go. A little bit of brown sugar. And to finish her off, cinnamon. Look at that. There we go. We filled the baby up. It's a well-filled canoe, basically, so the only thing that uh, we have to do next is wrap it up in aluminum foil and put it on the barbecue. Yeah, you wrap it quite loosely, because otherwise everything turns to snot. You don't want that. 
There we go. One canoe ready to go on the barbecue. Come on in. So, there we go on the barbecue on a place that's uh, not too hot. And uh, every minute we're going to turn it for about 8 to 10 minutes till it's nice and soft. Or well, softer as it already is. So, it's time to show you my banana. Exciting, eh? Don't you think so? But, as with everything that comes with the barbecue, be aware, guys, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all nice and gooey. Look at that. All nice and gooey. Stand by. Gonna get a fork. We might we might cook outdoors, but we're not cavemen, right? Split her open. Banana split, right? Oh. This is the best banana split you've had. Yes, you know them with ice cream and chocolate and all that kind of stuff. No, wrong. It has to be hot. Well, a banana like this doesn't win a beauty prize, but it's full of juices and goodness and whatever else you want. So, get yourself a sugar overload. Here we go. A uh, hobo dinner. Not just a hobo dinner. Uh, no, a uh, cheeseburger hobo dinner. Or well, cheeseburger foil package, whatever you want to call it. It's got cheeseburger in it. No more sweet stuff. Enough. There we go. Hobo dinner. What is a hobo dinner? AKA foil package. That is what it says. A foil package. So you're gonna get yourself some aluminum foil. Like so. And you get yourself all sorts of veggies, whatever you like. So, I usually start with a base of potato. Don't overload it guys, because before you know you have way too much. And, as you can tell, do your homework, prep it before you go out and barbecue and save you so much more time. Then we're going to add some carrots. As you see, you just make it in some nice small chunks, kind of bite size, I would say. Okay, so we've got some dry ingredients here. Dry stuff and barbecues, that doesn't go together. Hoppakee. Add some moist. Butter. Like I said, yeah, your body is, a, is an engine that needs lubrication. As you're doing the burger style, give it a little bit of onions. Got to have onions. And last but not least, a burger. There we go. Doesn't that look fantastic already? But it is not ready yet. It has to be cooked. And now we're just going to tightly fold it. And place it on the barbecue. Ah, 
as this goes on direct fire, I would say wrap it double. There you go, the burger patty package, and there you go, a burger patty package, that's as easy as it is, you prep it in advance, you go out with your kids, your family, by yourself, make yourself a bonfire, and off you go, because literally there was no editing in here, that's it, minutes, ta-da, pop it on there for a say like, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then it's chow time. And there we go. We're gonna leave it there for about half an hour. And so now and then we just keep turning it. So we uh, have an even heat distribution. Crap, that sounds good. While we're waiting, I overcome a sugar rush. Man, I just... Don't know how to get a marshmallow taste out of my mouth. But, <laughs> we are really inventive. We got some raw onions. That's to do the job. <sighs> Normally we don't eat that much sugar. But, there we go. We suffer for the videos. Well, kind of, because. This boy. With my selfie on it. <laughs> That's not suffering. That's quite nice. Well, the foil packets have been on uh, for a while, so now it's time to see how we're doing. Because if we're doing good, we have to put some cheese on it. Ooh, I can start, I can smell the veggies. Look at that! Okay, you didn't see that, but it was a taste test. <laughs> Got the taste test of suckers, right? There we go. A little bit of cheese. Now, we put the back on for the cheese to melt. Before we reveal what we've been cooking, uh, one thing, this is it. Thanks for watching. Uh, you are one of the rare people who watch all the way till the end. As per Google reviews, only 20% is watching till the end. So, thanks for that. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit that like button and I will keep you updated for whatever is to come. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Hobo Dinner. Oh yeah. Meet the Hobo cheeseburger style. Oh. Let's make a little bit a little tip out of that. So, we all can see what it is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Hold it. Wee-yee-yee. Well, that's it again for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and leave your comments below. And as always, happy grilling and see you in the next video.